So in this Iron Man episode, we're going to hit 100 Araxor kills. We're currently at 89, so we're going to do 11 more kills after this one. So let's see what the first loot is going to be. Yeah, some Dwarfweeds and some Aventos. Decent start, I guess. Oh yeah, we do also have a Reaper assignment of Araxis. We're going to complete that in two more kills. So let's see what the second loot is going to be. Even more magic seeds. I think I have like 100 plus magic seeds in the bank. So, you know, when I hit 75 farming, that's going to be A-OK. -okay. One more kill and then my Reaper assignment is going to be completed. Let's see what the third loot is going to be. And we get some ores. Oh, you know what? In all of these 91 kills, I've not done a single pet chance. And, I mean, I probably should do it on like U-Logs or something. Actually, Dwarfweed seeds is probably when I should do it. But, you know what? I don't even care. Let's just pet chance and see what happens. Most likely I'm not going to get anything, but I don't care that much about those ores, even though I kind of need smithing. It's fine. Let's roll. And that's absolutely awful. That's as, like, that's almost as far as you can get from zero. Wow, that's pretty bad. That could have been really awkward. I have two sips of Saradomian brew left. And it's because I didn't even bring any food in my war tour toys. Because I just forgot and I realized like mid-fight. Good thing I actually made it, but I was really close. Uh, that's the Reaper assignment completed for 10 Reaper points. The reason why I only got 10 is because it was 50% penalty, so I do know that now with 4 Araxor kills I'll get 20 Reaper points, which is actually a lot. Anyways, let's see what the fourth loot is going to be, and we get some higher gold tips. That's actually a lot of Sardom and Flask, so I'll definitely keep that. It's actually a new day now and the enrage has been reset so we have extended my sharpshooter aura so we should be able to do a couple of kills now actually hit that 100 mark but by the way jewelry was actually updated again and look at this the bracelet looks way better now in my opinion than before so really kudos to you for doing that you can really see that it's a bracelet now which is obviously good let's see what we're gonna get all right so as i said in my previous clip I'm going to reroll dwarf with seeds because this is useless. I, I have enough like arrows to last forever when I get my noxious bow. Um, and the three restores is whatever really. So just pet chance and roll and uh, okay, I'll take it. Useless, but I'll take it. So I want to hit exactly 100 in this video. So let's see how many I currently have. All right, 94. So we need six more kills. Let's do that in a row. Let's see what the loot is going to be. And some water talismans kind of need for summoning. Not that bad. Not really sure when I'm supposed to reset the Enrage, but I'm probably going to do two more kills and then I reset it and then I can do the rest of the kills. But let's see what the loot is going to be. That is U-Logs. I was discussing last video, I think, to myself if I was going to reroll this, but I think I'll keep it for fletching gains in the future or if I want to go for 99 fire making. Yeah, you guys said that I should have used all the logs not on fire making but on fletching. I don't know, I do so much PVMing that I get so many logs anyway, so I'll, I'll probably figure it out anyways, but we will have to see. So yeah, I will be doing one more kill after this one, and then I'll just reset. And by the way, it's going to be like 100% enrage reset. I think that's suitable for using a Sun Spear, so let's see what the loot's going to be. That's interesting, to say the least. I mean, if I get another one, I can get an Elite Clue Scroll. A Pheromon, alright. You know, the odds of getting both of these at the same time is probably the same as a Leg Piece, or even more rare than a Leg Piece, most likely. Alright. I'm still happy, though. Because that's really cool to actually get. That looks really cool. So I'm at 97 kill count now. We're getting really close to 100. So let's see what I get for this loot. We're done. <claps> Fucking celebration times! That is a middle leg piece. Wow. This is... I, the thing is, this is like my barrel's that reaction. But I actually feel like I... Goddamn deserve this. I actually deserve this. 97 kill count. I was actually about to get 100 kill count without getting a leg piece. But there we goddamn go, man. Wow, that is actually so good. Alright. So, from now on, I don't need to care about uh, waiting for, like, okay, I didn't care about what path it was, but I really wanted to do the 2-3 path, because uh, doing 2-3 and just getting... It's just so easy. Doing 2-3 is so easy, right? And uh, I just wanted to get one leg piece, and the easiest way of doing that is obviously doing 2-3. But now I need 1 and 3, which is the most annoying ones in my opinion. So from now on, I'm just going to be doing a Raxor. Which is great, but I'm probably- I don't know if I'm going to show every single loot from now on, because it might be a bit annoying. But I just wanted to do that for every single loot up to a leg piece. Alright, that's the first leg piece completed, but we still need a hilt as well, and the other two are obviously. But yeah, that's that's awesome. I'm still going to do three more kills. I'm going to be doing them on the bottom path though, so maybe we can get a bottom piece if I'm super lucky.
You know what's really awkward? When you're supposed to reset the enrage on Araxor, accidentally enter the room and you have no teleports out so you just have to go with it and hopefully not die. So at least I saved my pheromone for one more kill. I did actually almost die, so I think this is a good time to reset the enrage for sure. But let's see what we get for this one. We get some coins, not too bad. Alright, one more kill after this one, and the enrage has been reset now, so it's like super easy to do. And let's see what we get. And we get on... Ugh, I was gonna say Onyx ball tips, but that you can't even get that. So what am I rambling on? Hydrix ball tips, that's decent. I actually have like 700 of them or something now, so that's actually quite a lot of money. Alright, so we've done 100 Araxor kills, you can see that in the chat, I don't know, it might be small on YouTube, but I don't know. But anyways, we've done 100 kills, I can assure you of that. So let's see what the loot for the 100th kill is going to be. And we get... Dude, I got so baited, I swear I got so baited. I thought it was another leg piece, it looks like it. Alright, battle staves, well, that's a good way to end Araxor. Dude, that leg piece was literally exactly what I needed, because I felt a bit iffy about my motivation to do Araxor, so, you know, when I had the chance to do the 2-3 path today, I was like, let's just bang it out and hopefully get something good, and we did, so that's absolutely amazing. I was just looking at my runecraft level and I was like, that's actually really close to 75 and I've been talking continuously about how I want to get 75 in at least all the stats and the ones I do miss is runecrafting, what is it, farming and then thieving and that by the way is 73 and that's it I think, I think I have 75 in everything after that so I kind of want to go for that and I think I'm going to pick off runecrafting real quick now so I'm just going to do two more runecrafting levels and I'll get back to you guys when that's done, that's going to be like 200,000 runecraft experience so it, it's going to take a while but that's fine. And here we are now, it's been a couple of hours, I think like 5 hours or something, and I've been doing runecrafting the whole time. And we just hit 75, so we have another 75 out of the way. So we only need uh, thieving and then farming now. And farming is a bit of an issue because a lot of the yew trees died that I planted, even though I used super compost. No, sorry, I didn't use super compost, I used normal compost. So maybe I should have used super compost, I don't know. But anyways, uh, like half of them died, so I didn't even get that much experience, but I currently have uh, six of them planted, or five of them planted, I don't know, and I have 40,269. Um, so yeah, we need thieving and farming, and farming is just going to be have, have to be a slow level that I just gradually level up. When I get to 75 in it, I'll just get to 75, that's just how it's going to be. I'm not going to be able to grind it out, but thieving I can grind out, but I'm not going to do that for right now. I'm thinking about maybe doing some slay and do some clear scrolls as well because I kind of need charms and I need money to be able to mostly charms to be honest to be able to get that 9 to 6 summoning which I really do need uh, for Pakyak it, it enables me to do two or extra kills per trip instead of one which is going to speed up the process a bit so that's a good thing to get to in my opinion I was if King some slayer and then I realized I just got a dark mind yes that is one of the three pieces you need to get the penny pet from the shadowy creatures which people farm for ages. I'm sorry to everyone who actually farms this pet seriously because I almost missed it because I just like clicked random piles on the ground and I saw I got the pet. Well not the actual pet but one of the pieces. I'm sorry to everyone. I really am sorry. I have like 300 kill count. I'm actually going to, during the whole Slayer session I'm going to be doing, and all of these clue scrolls, I'm going to keep the charms that I get in my inventory and never bank them, because it doesn't really matter if I bank them, it's just easier to see like this, how many I get. Currently I have 32 and 88, it's not that great, but I've only done two Slayer assignments, so it's to be expected. But anyways, I did just get a hard clue scroll, so we're going to complete that and see what we get. Bolka, what do you have for me? Alright, we have something really shitty here, I'm just going to reroll it, 87k, really bad. Alright, so let's see what we get. Uh, if we do 14 more, I get 400 completed. That's pretty neat. Um, yeah, that's very standard, nothing too interesting. But you know, I actually need nature runes. Like, look at that, I only have that many, so 75 is pretty good. So I have been using the augmented staff of light that I still had in my bank from the first time I did the augmenter. So it's actually level 10 now, so I guess I'm just going to disassemble it for like 499k experience. Let's do that, let's see if we get any levels. Yes we did, we get two levels, that's not too bad. So we're currently 58, I guess the next item I disassemble I'm going to get 60, which is another milestone level, which is going to be really cool. Uh, but yeah, I do have a casket here from, I, don't, I can't remember, I think it was a gargoyle task or maybe abyssal demon. So anyways, let's open this and see what we get. Alright, that's not too interesting. Ooh, 99 and a 9. Alright, so yeah, nothing really that interesting. 
Alright, so we got another hard clue at 69 kill count left of Abyssal Demons. And by the way, I'm actually hitting 10 mil really soon. I'm going to just alg these as well. I get so much money from Abyssal Demons. And also, I can't remember exactly what I got all the other money from, but I think it was like a lot from QBD. And then also a bunch from just the Araxor drops and, you know... It's pretty good uh, alking all those onyxes that I got. So I think that's where I got most of my money from. But let's see what we get from this hard clip. Well, that's... You know, that's pretty embarrassing. I, what? I don't know. This is step five. I always assume it's going to be loot on step five. This is three steps after the one I just recorded. What the hell? This is like seven step or even eight step hard clue. If eight steps is even possible. I've never seen that. But this is crazy. Also, I want to say something that I've realized, which is pretty annoying, but, you know, it's just how it is. Every single person that makes, like, a coordinate, because I still don't know every coordinate, I can't remember all of them. Uh, every single one that makes, like, a video on where the coordinate is, it's, it's so bad. It's so bad. The videos are about two minutes long, and it's, like, them walking from, like, Varrock or some random-ass place all the way down here. Like, why? Why can't you just make a five second video, you open the world map, you like zoom out like this and like here and then you just remove the map and then you like dig and then dig and then kill. That, that's literally all you have to do but you make a two minute video which says nothing, alright? So I, I encourage you guys to go and just look up any coordinate clue on Google and press the first video you see and you're gonna see what I'm talking about. But anyways, this is for sure the casket. I knew that, you know, I'm telepathic. But no, we've done like eight steps. I knew that was going to be the casket. Let's see what we get. Please something. Oh my. Two mystic fire staves. All right. Fetch casket scrolls. I actually think I have a bunch of these in the bank, but I guess back to killing these 69 abyssal demons. I didn't get anything else from that Abyssal Demon task, but after handing in the contract from the kills as I did it in the Slayer Tower, I got 10 million cash overall. So yes, I'm going to use all of this on summoning, but I'm not going to do that right now because I don't really feel like it's worth it when I don't have that many charms. I'm going to put this into the bank because I'm not going to do more Slayer for now because I got the worst tasks ever. I got like three elite Slayer creatures and yes, I did block them all because I previously didn't have them blocked. So I just used like 300 points blocking all of those three. So I have like 40 points left now and I got Abyssal Demons again, which I just did, so I'm not going to really do that, it's just boring. But look at this, I have two pheromones, so I can do like even more Araxor. Got the Leg Piece, which I got in this video, and then the Dark Mind, which I also got in this video. So I've been pretty lucky this video, I'm actually really satisfied with the results, but I also have like... Not that many uh, K-Fish, so I can't really do much Araxor. I could do maybe one trip there with like five kills or something with that. Uh, but for the overloads, I have two left, which is also not that much. And I might have Flask, yeah, four dose of Flasks. Uh, so I do need more overloads, and I'm going to have to work a bit to get that, because I need the Stews to be able to boost. Uh, and then also I need, uh, I think it's Hunter, to get the Spikes from Grenwalds to be able to make the ranged ones, because I don't really have any of those. And hunting those is not that fun but I need to do it so I'm going to be doing that uh, but that's not going to happen for now because this is going to be the end of this video but in the next video I'm probably going to be making some overloads to start off with and then do some Araxor again and some good stuff in PVMing also I do really want to get into questing again because I'm actually kind of close to Wild Gothic Sleeps it's just 17 quest points off and you know that's pretty hard I mean 17 quest points is at, li at least like 10 quests because all the quests I have left give one point because I already did all the ones that give more than one point so uh, it's going to suck a bit, but I'm definitely going to go for it. So, uh, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video and I'll see you in the next one. All of this money is going to go towards summoning, which might be enough for 96. Probably not, but maybe. We will have to see. So anyways, I thank you all for watching and see you in the next one.